the arms deal update released over nine years and seven months ago back on august 14th in 2013 which was arguably the biggest update we've ever received for skins this is where they added in the first cases into the game with some of the first original finishes and as well as the classic collections once again this happened back on august 14th in 2013 which we will be hitting the 10 year anniversary this summer what else is happening in this summer well counter strike 2 is releasing we've covered all the upcoming counter strike 2 skins that have been leaked there's now over 70 of them 40 right here another 30 and then you also add on the anubis and tuscan collection there's over 100 skins expected to be coming within the next few months now this is a lot of skins so it's important to sort of just not get them all confused together this is where gabe follower found in the files that there were some new weapon collections including including Counter-Strike, Pop Comic, and Myth and Monsters. This is a full list of every single collection with the skins inside, and the thing about them is, is that these can all be found within the CSGO Workshop. You also notice that they are listed for Operation 12, which is the next operation. And well, I've checked a bunch of the previous Operation collections, and I actually can't see that they're in the workshop. Although some have been made by some community artists, it doesn't seem like they were posted in the workshop. But why this is important is because this would appear like these would be Operation K skins if these would be for Operation 12. And as you can see, this is three sets of different cases, which might go ahead and remind you back of the Arms Deal update where they released the CSGO Weapon Case 1, 2, and 3 with completely different themes for the community. It would fit perfectly in line for them to do the exact same thing with these skins that Gabe Follow have found in the game files, seeing as they are all community-made skins from the workshop, which in the past has led to them being in cases. Of course, with CS2, this could be the first time they use Operation skins from the workshop, but this goes back into the Arms Deal update where one of the main focuses was them showing off all their unique weapon finishes for the new weapon models and all the new features that really came with the arms deal update like stat track and well as we know when we go into the counter strike 2 blog post there's going to be brand new upgraded and high resolution models so they're obviously going to be wanting to show these off with new skins which obviously the best way to do this would be with one of these huge updates with all these skins inside now you might be saying there's no way Valve would add three different cases at the same time that would completely mess up the drop pool but they could actually add them in within the operation like they do with any other case so players get to choose the exact one they get like what you're seeing with operation riptide but instead there would just be the counter strike 2 weapon cases allowing players to just mass buy as many as they want remember 10 years ago valve was promoting these cases as rare and for weapon collectors which they probably never expected collecting to be what it is today so now this goes into these other skins which were recently leaked which do more follow in line into being operation collection skins i mean these are actually vel finishes like case harden gamma doppler fades whiteouts all previous skins which we have seen in other operation collections i haven't seen anybody talk about this the fact that the arms deal update is coming up on its 10 year anniversary the exact same time we're expected to get cs2 and the new operation and we have these three different collections that would fall in line to be case skins allowing valve to release the counter strike 2 weapons case 